So today I have this uh, story, and this is the story of the curse of Ham. It's a very complicated story, but I feel like we could start uh, dipping our toes into this. And the sons of Noah that went forth of the ark were Shem, Ham, and Japheth. And Ham is the father of Canaan. So Ham means father. That's the name of the word Ham. And here, Ham is father of Canaan. So this word Ham is also the same way that Abraham is Ham and the father of everyone, basically, who is uh, part of the people who came from the ark, which is the whole earth. And then Adham is also a father, just like Ham and just like Noah. So Noah knows he's a Noah. So these are the sons of Noah. And from them was the whole earth overspread. And Noah began to be a husbandman, and he planted a vineyard. And he drank off the wine and was drunken, and he was uncovered in his tent. It's very interesting that one of the first things that Noah did, well, the first thing he did was to set up an altar. And then after that, he planted his vineyard. So, and Ham, the father of Canaan, saw the nakedness of his father and told his two brethren without. So he was laughing at his father and Shem and Japheth took a garment and laid it upon both their shoulders and went backward and covered the nakedness of their father and their faces were backward. So this is going to be very instrumental in understanding how the prophets understood this and how you can profit from their prophecies. But it's about, it has something to do with the faces. So the faces were backward. And they saw not their father's nakedness. And Noah awoke from his wine. And he knew what his younger son had done unto him. So the first thing to understand is Ham was hyper intelligent. Canaan was hyper intelligent. Canaan was so intelligent that he's the one who invented alphabets and num And like he invented the English alphabet that we're using today. Numbers are from put. But Canaan was extremely intelligent. He started uh, trading and ships and things like that. He was extremely intelligent. But, but, and he said, blessed be the Lord God of Shem. So Shem inherited a blessing and Canaan shall be his servant. And Cain, or whatever intelligence that Canaan in particular had, it was going to benefit uh, uh, Shem. Ham and Japheth and not Canaan. But then it was not meant to be um, uh, used by Canaan to his own benefit. He was supposed to serve, to be in service. So I, I believe that's why he was given this intelligence, so that it serves humanity in a sense. God shall enlarge Japheth and, he's, and he shall dwell in the tents of Shem. So when you look at the genealogy of Japheth, let's just take a look at it right here. So we have uh, Kush, this is Kush, uh, generations, Shem, Ham, Japheth, Japheth, Gomer. So Japheth uh, begat Gomer over here. It's already highlighted because I've already read it before. But yeah, so that's where Japheth is. So now the son of Gomer is Ash Ashkenaz, which is Ashkenazi. And this is the prophecy of Noah. He's like, Blessed be the Lord God of Shem, and Canaan shall be his servant. God shall enlarge Japheth, and he shall dwell in the tents of Shem. So right now, the sons of Japheth, the sons of Goma, called Ashkenaz, the sons of Ashkenazi, which are the Ashkenazi Jews, which is sixty, uh, which is seventy to eighty percent of all the Jews, basically, or Ashkenazi or Sephardic or the other type. But the real Jews are what we call Hebrew Jews, and the Hebrew Jews are all right. So this is now Genesis 10. I'm just switching through the scriptures so that I show you what I'm talking about. It's from the Bible. It's not, we haven't started gaining insight yet. We're just gaining knowledge. So the knowledge from the Bible here, it says, these are the sons of Ham and their families and their tongues and their countries and their nations. All right. And then it talks about Shem. And then these are the sons of Shem. Okay. And their families and their tongues and their lands and their nations. But here, when we talk about um, uh, Japheth, we say, by these, in green, by these were the isles of the Gentiles divided in their lands, one after his tongue, after their families and their nations. But Ham is not a Gentile. And um, this is Ham. 
his family i'll put it in green again and he is not a gentile and obviously shem is not a gentile so these are the verses if you want to double check that so they're not gentiles right but what happened was uh because of the words of the father blessed be the lord god of shem and canaan shall be his servant now the first question is why did god not curse ham he cursed uh canaan right because the reason why is because the same way that uh, adam is a father is the same way that uh ham is a father and the same way that um adam gave his sin to his son ham gave his sin to his son and in the same way that adam's son was cain uh ham son is canaan so this is the cycle so this is just the cycle of god showing us that certain things are just happening uh recursively in this certain type of cycle so this is what's happening so uh this is why the sin goes to the son because this is speaking about uh a parable so this story is a parable so we can read it in parallel this is now we're moving from the knowledge we have gotten and now we're understanding because in all you're getting get understanding so this is why Canaan is a servant okay now another key ingredient in this verse is uh God shall enlarge Japheth so Japheth is uh the gentiles so God enlarged the gentiles and through this by enlarging the gentiles what God is doing is also giving the power to Japheth the power to use all the technology and this is actually Ashkenaz ah <laughs> Ashkenaz is Ashkenazi which is the root word for Nazi which is from Germany so i don't know if hitler read the bible but the word that he used for his party comes from the bible ashkenaz other versions say ashkenazi so this is where it comes from so this is how they were enlarged why did hitler like uh, control the whole world it's because of god's word in fact it's because of the father's word so this now is he who is saying all these things is a father noah one who knows so this is speaking about knowledge noah is all about knowledge so i'm going to stop here for now but we're just taking this uh a step at a time and uh this is the curse of ham so the curse of ham is actually the curse of man mankind just like the curse of adam is the curse of man just like the blessing of adam and ham or the blessing and curse of the children of Abraham goes to all of them so when you look at Ham and Shem they're both Jews but when you look at Japheth he's a gentile and this is where the gentile nation starts after the flood according to the bible